Hey yo, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is DDoves Gaming. We're gonna talk about the Destiny 2 reveal today. So play that intro. Yes, hello, if you are new or you returned, I am a new YouTuber trying to put more content out there and get on camera more. So here's my official attempt at starting with Destiny 2. I want to start out by saying that I watched the Reveal 2 trailer live and the actual press conference and I kind of went into it neutrally. I really didn't like the first one at all. So I played it a lot when it first came out and I played it in its vanilla form. I liked it to a point until I learned that a lot of the weapons were very similar and it became a grind fest. As soon as I finally beat the Vault of Glass with a group of people and then beat it again and again and again and realized there was really nothing new there and there was no change in gameplay. I pretty much hard quit it until the Crota came out and played that a couple times and hard quit again for good. So just watching this video know that I go in with that kind of mentality and I'm trying to be neutral as I watch it and tweet about it. I'm going to include my Twitter in this video either right here or I'm going to put it in the description or both, but whatever I choose to do, you should find it right now. And uh, you can see that I was very pessimistic with my uh, first impressions with Destiny and upon thinking about it and seeing what's new and what more information they decided to give us, I'm a lot less pessimistic. I would say that I'm more optimistic than anything. I want to play it really badly and experience it for myself and I think that that's where my tweets came from where the, I was pretty much bashing it because they made Destiny 1 for the current generation at the time meaning Xbox 360, PS3 as well as trying to adapt it for the next generation console and that's where I feel and know that they fell very far short. Um, I don't know if that is because Activision had their hand in it and they told them to just produce it and get a mass audience onto it and get it done, do it now, but I feel like it faltered very heavily due to those facts. Alright, so let's take for instance the new modes that they're talking about, okay? Specifically, I'm talking about the one that everybody's talking about with the clans. So they had clans in the first game, but that's as far as it went. It, it was, you got a piece of equipment that had a slightly faster fire rate or a different emblem on it or a different skin that you couldn't get anywhere else and the collector diehards out there just loved it but now in this new one you're gonna make an actual clan that actually matters and you can make it specific to you with an emblem and with X amount of people and you guys have your own ranks and stuff like that and that is I think that's awesome, but I, I feel like that's that's why I expected in the first game and they're very limited I feel like because of adapting to multiple consoles, multiple generations at one time. So with a lot of the announcements they made on you know improvements and stuff they're going to make, I was just thinking, yeah, you could have done that freaking two, three years ago if you just did it on you know next generation consoles. Uh, I, I don't mean to be that way, but that's the way I thought about it. I thought, yeah, you could have easily done this. This is what I wanted. But now it's I, I it it seems tainted. I, I feel like I don't have a optimistic outlook towards it because of that. But but I'm trying to give the game the benefit of the doubt. I'm trying to give Bungie a leg up. I'm trying to just look at it as a fresh start, as they kept saying. They they really really push community and fresh start. Like everybody's ground zero. I like that. Uh, I would like to go into it as a newbie per se because everybody's going in as a newbie per se. However, I don't want to go back into the rat race of I have to level up as fast as possible, I have to get the, f the best stuff, I have to be stronger than everybody and just jump into that and then not like it like I did the first one because I jumped into it, I was going nuts, I love the you know gameplay, uh, I love leveling up but then once you get to that peak and once you do some things, it's just bleh. You don't have much to do. Granted, when the Taken King came out and Iron Banner, there's a lot more to do, but it was way too little too late for me. Uh, because it's just not my kind of game, I guess. 
and that's where I'm coming back to my original point where I, I'm afraid it's going to, I'm not going to like it, the second one I mean, because of grinding, because that seems to be the core aspect of the first game. So whether that's true or not, we will see. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to pre-order yet just to play the beta because that's most likely what I'm going to do because I, I really want to give this game the time of day and really at least give it a chance. And that, that, that's really what I'm going at because those weapons look freaking awesome. <laughs> I mean, the grenade launcher, the uh, assault rifle, the chain gun, it, it all just, it looked pretty cool, but will it get repetitive and boring to me? Not you, maybe, but me. Yeah. I'm done talking about the negatives. Uh, essentially, I, I really, the biggest negative is I want to play it. I want to experience it for myself, and I feel like they could have done a lot more with the series earlier on. I'm not even going to talk about the story because it's just, it's just not even worth it. It's not even worth talking about the story, to be honest, because that brings me to my positives that there's a story this time. Holy crap. You can actually follow along with it without reading a hundred thousand whatever they're called online uh, cards <laughs> to learn the lore because that's just you, you have a video game medium right that doesn't have a book or a movie or even a comic series but you're gonna put all of your video game content and story online on a site where the video game players aren't gonna go to so yeah that just always struck me as, what what the hell are you doing, Bungie? Anyway, anyway, there, there's a story in the second one, and that's a huge positive. They're also using Battle.net for their matchmaking. Huge positive. Uh, that's just going to run really well, obviously. It's been tested by Overwatch and everything else that they have. Um, there also seems to be multiple classes, new ultimates and whatnot. We're going to see more of that. They're keeping a lot of stuff under wraps. Gameplay looks uh, just generally smooth as crap. And I also learned today, actually like an hour ago, that they have a new, you know, an engine rather. They have a new engine for the whole game. So uh, with that and the PC compatibility and everything they've been working on, what they're promising, what they're promising, it looks very good. However, I just... I. The grinding, I can't do it. I can't do it. I understand the community is great and everything, and they love that, but is that community just going to be full of just grinding and going nuts and doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again until oblivion? So, in general, I'm very in the middle still. I'm very meh, but I'm more on this side of optimistic than I am on this side pessimistic because I really want to see it for myself, my own eyes. I want to put it on my PlayStation, really put it through the paces to see, you know, what's good, what's bad, what I like, and what I don't. So those are my general thoughts and opinions on Destiny 2. So uh, you can at me on Twitter, you can catch me on Twitch every now and again, and always here at DWZ Gaming on YouTube. So until then, I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. See you later.